Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. Happy hum day everybody. Welcome to Wednesday, welcome to CPI day. So uh, big day for the data. Uh, obviously we know these markets are pretty much currently being driven by inflation expectations, interest rate expectations. Uh, and all that fun stuff so clearly the uh, the continuing propaganda index uh, is an important number for these markets so yeah we've got that coming today uh, so yeah we shall go straight over now to those Bitcoin four hour charts where Bitcoin pretty much uh, doing it's doing its best doing it is best to hold this support level here uh, obviously we know this is a pretty important support level as we can as we can see uh if we zoom out here um would uh would it make sense for us to literally come back down in such an aggressive uh, uh manner and then break straight through and continue lower um in my opinion it isn't the most likely scenario but it clearly isn't a uh, a massively unlikely scenario um based on uh, just the general fud that we've got going in in, in all markets uh, and particularly crypto market now as well uh we're obviously this uh this UST uh, stablecoin falling apart, uh, the actual Luna Luna coin uh, just basically going to zero, and uh, and then the implications once that hits zero, what happens with UST? Um, it's uh, it's a uh, what what you could call a sy a systemic risk uh, to to crypto. Uh, it opens up all sorts of uh, uh, panic selling, regulation, all sorts of uh, all sorts of bad things generally. So it clearly is a massive, uh, massive, a massive SH1T storm that could that could very easily just drop us below here now, uh, as we as we are as we as we are speaking. Although um, although yeah, I mean it would kind of make sense to wait for a CPI, see how that looks because if you want to tank this market any further just see if cpi gives us a <laughs> gives us a nice pump and then just sell into that pump that would be the more the more prudent strategy for uh, for those uh, for those bears out there but yeah we'll see what will happen bitcoin obviously as you can see uh looking looking pretty uh <laughs> pretty down and out for the count here but like i said can things continue down in a straight line um they they obviously don't uh but that straight line could continue further um also we are at major support as well and we have got a uh, big inf uh, uh, data points today as well um however on the on the flip side on the on the downside we do have uh this unfolding terra luna story which could be about to to actually properly blow up once luna hit basically hit zero uh so difficult times uh difficult times let's have a look at the good old s and p it is holding its important support level here as well similar to bitcoin I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, it's going to come down, obviously, to CPI today. Uh, the 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 near term move, ultimately, whether we get a bounce uh, and then continue lower, or whether we continue lower from here. Um, the 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 near term move is obviously going to be uh, predicated off of that uh, of that economic data point. Um, but yeah, um, if we can if we can hold here and move above, then yeah, we can get a nice relief rally in all risk assets. Um, so yeah, see what that happens. See what happens. Uh, DXY uh, just hovering around at these highs, uh, inflicting uh, severe pain on lots of participants in the global economy. Uh, the ten-year uh, ten-year has eased off under three percent, uh, so maybe not the worst thing. Uh, maybe an indication of that inflation is potentially coming in, uh, kind of come in today, as in come in, as in like uh, be a bit lower, as in go down. Uh, that's kind of what coming coming in means. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, gold wrecked. Uh, gold wrecked, literally down uh, below that level that I was talking about. I mean, wicked. Well, wick ever so slightly traded below. Now trying to bounce back up, but this is the line in the sand for gold. I mean, this for me is uh, is basically uh, telegraphing uh, liquidity problems. I mean, and that I mean it's kind of an obvious statement that there's liquidity issues in the market at the moment. Uh, but gold is now obviously double confirming that uh, and uh, yeah, so um, this is not a good sign either um, oil um, oil um, Well, like it is basically in this in this range here uh, if it does uh, break below here then um, Yeah, I mean that's obviously going to be great for inflation 
um, but it's gonna break below here mainly if it does mainly off the back of basically recession uh, stroke depression uh, fears and uh, and yeah uh, mark a lot, a lot of um, <laughs> forward-looking indicators are uh, pricing in uh, a, a recession pretty soon uh, most notably the ISM which uh, which uh, is one of the best uh, predictors of, of recession, one of the best forward looking. Lots of stats are, are, are backwards looking. Um, and yeah, it's difficult to drive uh, by uh, looking in your rear view mirror. You kind of need to look forwards uh, to drive safely. Um, so yeah, oil oil is firmly nicely within this range. But yeah, if it does uh, if it does drop into the support and it does take it out, then um, yeah, there will be a, there will be a um, well, a market signal being telegraphed to us on that basis. Um, what else? What else? Do we look at Ethereum. Ethereum Satoshi pairing holding in all right. I mean, here's one, uh, <laughs> one good look, uh, one good, uh, good, better looking chart in the market. And then what is this chart telling us? It tells us Ethereum is only going down as much as Bitcoin. Um, and then obviously we want to look at that as bullish. I mean, historically Ethereum has gone down. Uh, just being an alt, a high beta alt like so silver is to gold, uh, would go down more than Bitcoin in a in a in a bad market. But at the moment, guys, our Ethereum's only going down as much as our Bitcoin. So I mean, it's better than it going down more. Let's put it that way. But it ain't going up. It ain't going up when Bitcoin is going down. Put it uh, put it that way. So. Um, yeah, read into that what you will, but would I rather this than this come down? Of course, uh, but yeah, uh, we'll just we'll take we'll take it we'll take it. Um, the uh, yeah the Ethereum uh, USD pairing practically in no man's land here. Uh, practically in no man's land. I guess we've got the low of this wick and the high, low of this uh, this obviously candles and the highs here. Get above here, maybe move up, get below here potentially move down i do think near-term moves are just going to be based off cpi today so that's all i'd really say um so yeah i mean and then obviously driving the direction of this asset but i mean do they want to clap i mean did they're causing enough pain here anyway do they want to collapse five point uh, finance 1.0 do they want to collapse it right now do they want do they want a market crash um i would i would guess they don't um but um but hey uh, i think they've done enough now uh for inflation to be on the decline uh, people have a lot less money to spend to chase prices around and ultimately supply chains have uh have got a, a release a bit um i've got to thaw out um i mean the i mean the the main problem i guess the main uncertainty at the moment i guess is uh this this conflict in europe is it going to escalate is it going to de-escalate uh that is the the main unknown i think at the moment uh a lot of the uh the rate of changes of the other uh market drivers are relatively known but that one is an unpredictable uh unpredictable uh scenario and uncertain and the markets hate uncertainty that is what the markets hate markets markets hate nothing more uh, than uncertainty so let's have a look at stochastics are they gonna save us are they gonna save us four hours literally turning back down so four hour ain't our friend uh eight hour is turning up from a low level though but although it is losing its upward momentum but is turning up, up from a low level uh, 10 hour is similarly going to be uh, moving up from a low level I'm sure when it decides to load uh, we always have problems with this 10 hour don't we uh, yeah 10 hour moving up from a low level as we can see here uh, 12 hour still not turned back up yet daily uh, still actually diving here as well uh, by daily looking to try and turn back up from a very low level uh, three day very low I mean it goes without saying we all know we are over, we are we are oversold five days still moving down uh, weekly moving down <laughs> bi-weekly uh, sorry yeah bi-weekly is moving down and we know monthly is moving down also so um, yes uh, they are now all in alignment so can we start to feed through and turn these back up I mean it's just gonna depend uh, well firstly on what CPI does today uh, then do we hold this uh, thirty thousand dollar level and then ultimately do we get back uh uh back well back up of some of these important levels about around thirty three and a half thousand first uh thirty six thousand practically forty thousand we'll just call it forty thousand this area here uh and then yeah things can maybe start to look better but at moment at the moment the risk is clearly to the sound side downside i mean 
I mean, I just I'm not sure how how much worse this UST FUD can get on the market. Uh, I'm not sure how much. Yeah, I mean that's it. I'm not sure how much worse it can get. Uh, is it priced in? Uh, we're going to have to see. Is there going to be some sort of an actual uh, actual uh, blow up um, with the UST uh, coin? Uh, and then what are the implications of that? Uh, also, obviously, uh, CP, CP, CP lie, whatever you want to call it, CP lie or the continuing propaganda index. All I will say, like uh, putting on a bit of hopium for the CPI, um, these numbers are manipulated and fudged anyway. So just uh, just for the sake of the market, just fudge it a bit higher today, as in a bit a bit higher, as in a bit better, so a bit lower uh, for us, uh, so we can. Uh, <laughs> so we can live to fight another day, <laughs> basically. Um, but wow, if that is that is that is the hoping we're clinging to. But in all fairness, in all fairness, uh, markets are built on confidence, and that confidence is based confidence is basically built on lies. It's all lies. You know, it's a Ponzi. We all know it's a crazy Ponzi fiat system. I mean, obviously, people are now saying crypto is just as bad look at ust ust is only one part of crypto one recent flash in the pan uh in crypto um so i wouldn't try and judge all of all of crypto on uh on just uh one uh one basically overconfident guy all i will say is uh all algorithmic stable coins have basically failed so the chances were this one was going to fail because uh, they all have done previously so there we go guys remember this is not financial advice i am not financial a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon